Hey, what's going on guys? It's Core, the real estate guy, and I want to start a series on talking about the types of loans that are out there for you. Um, so I want to start that discussion or that conversation talking about conforming and non-conforming loans and what those mean and what you get from them. So let's get into it. Conforming and non-conforming. The most common loans out there, most people are looking for conforming loans because one, they're more affordable upfront, okay? If you don't have a lot of cash to spend or a lot of upfront for uh, uh, reserves for closing costs and things of that nature, then conforming loans are typically where you wanna go and where most people fall. These are where you find your VA, FHA, USDA, and some type of fixed rate conventional loans, okay? Uh, it's a fixed rate, which means the price or the, t the amount of money that you pay monthly for your mortgage never changes. So every month you're paying some interest down and you're also paying some principal down. Of course, interest is the amount uh, that it costs you for the loan and the principal is the amount that you actually borrowed, okay? Then you have a low upfront cost. So typically with your FHA, it's gonna be 3.5% down uh, your USDA and your VAs can be 100% financing depending on the limit that you get. Uh, and conventional can be as low as 3%. Um, then you have, um, one of the negatives about it is the interest that you pay over time. So when looking at your loan estimate and your closing disclosure, this is typically a larger amount, sometimes equivalent or if not more than what the actual house costs. Uh, so you gotta keep in mind with these loans, yes, it's a lower interest rate, but over the course of time, typically 360 months, which is 30 years, you pay a lot more interest, okay? But there's ways to ways to play on that. Uh, it's easier qualifying terms. These terms have to conform to Freddie Mae and Fannie Mac, who are the secondary market, who are funded by the government or investors, okay? What lenders do is they get these uh, loans wrapped up in a way that it is appeasing to these investors and they sell them off so they free up the money at the bank so they can continue doing loans. That's, that's as simple as I can put it. Uh, these loans do allow you to buy more. Since it's a low interest rate, it allows you to have um, more buying power in the market, it allows you and your family to purchase more home. Now, non-conforming loans, okay? Go over here. Non-conforming loans are a little bit, uh, a little bit harder to deal with, okay? And it's not for everybody, but they're out there. These are where you find your adjustable rate and variable rate mortgages, your arms is what they call them. Uh, you have bigger down payments, uh, introductory periods, meaning uh, with an introductory, introductory period, that means, say for instance, you have an arm, an adjustable rate mortgage, and you'll see a three to one. That means for the first three years of that loan, you have a lower than market value interest rate, okay, which is dynamite. Uh, but after those three years, uh, the one means every year after that annually, that interest rate changes and it changes based off the market. So it could go up or it could go down. And that's what makes those um, interest rate very volatile and very dangerous for the unsound mind financially. OK, um, it's more investor friendly and financially sound friendly for those people who are investing in real estate. that They know that they're going to be there for a short period of time and they're going to sell it off or something like that. Um, the bank is going to look for lots of cash reserves. So having a lot of cash on hand to compensate for that risk is a big deal. Uh, and they're stripping underwriting laws. Um, when you're looking to get one of these loans, a lender is taking a risk because they are not guaranteed and they are not backed by Fannie and Freddie Mac, which means they're at more risk for you defaulting. This is why nine times out of 10, they're asking for larger down payments and they want to dig and dive through your financial history. So we're going to talk more about these loans specifically, but today we talked about conforming and non-conforming loans. It's Quarter Real Estate Guy.